All right, so we're checking out this STEM kit and it's called the Wall Robot, but as you can see, it's clearly a Lego Wally copy. Um, I think the original one, which is obviously discontinued now, it came out around the time when the movie came out, which is obviously a Disney property. So that was 2008, I believe, and that's been discontinued for a while, but I've seen the, the actual Lego Wally kit on Amazon. I think the people have been selling them used for like $400, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, it's kind of a Lego copy, but it, it has a uh, motor in the bottom so you can actually move it around like an RC car and has a like a little RC controller here and you can also control it via an app uh, and, and also you can create some other models here so they have uh, different models here and then they're calling it a foreign one uh, here's some of the other models you can build I'm just gonna build the Wally one for this demo and then you have an app download there remote control as I mentioned uh, it's got um, what is it 560 pieces so it's probably um, yeah age wise I think six plus yeah it sounds about right it's probably gonna take a while to put it together um, but let's see what you got in the box here first all right so here's everything that's in the box of course you get all of the pieces to put everything together and get a huge instruction manual uh, it's really thick so obviously for I think there's like four or five different models to put together uh, but for those of you that are Lego enthusiasts you'll know the drill how uh, these are put together it's very straightforward and as this is um, six plus in terms of age so obviously if you're using this with one of your younger kids that are closer to the minimum age you may want to help them out um, you know, obviously a nice fun family project but they have really good detailed um, pictures and everything and then you got your motors here um, and a little look, I think this is for the part of the receiver for the controller and then you have this remote here for controlling the um, Wally so so you get a set of stickers here to enhance the look so it's going to kind of replicate this sort of little weathered look here on the robot. For anyone, I'm going to go ahead and take all the pieces out, put it together, show you a little time lapse of me putting it together and then we'll come back and see how it runs. Alright, so here it is all done. It took me a bit longer than I thought it would. Uh, actually, several hours. A lot of leftover parts here, and obviously these are going to be used for the other models. There's like four or five alternate models. But uh, this is the only one that I'm going to actually put together. I decided not to um, install the stickers because I may make the other models later and the stickers probably won't look appropriate for these models. But this looks really good, even without any stickers. And I believe the original Lego version didn't come with any stickers. The stickers are just there to sort of give it a weathered look, a little bit more of, you know, uh, I guess more futuristic looking, but I actually prefer the, uh, the Lego look. And for those of you wondering, uh, the pieces do seem to be Lego compatible. Um, they seem to be the same dimensions and sizes and they, they, seem, they seem to fit with the other other Legos that I've had but um, of course this is not an officially licensed Lego model of course that's why it's so much cheaper 
the little uh, door here in the front does open is kind of cool. You have these lights here for the eyes. If you can move the uh, arms out of the way. You can see the got a light there and then with the remote controller when you're moving the robot around the lights change colors. So you got green and purple and blue and these LEDs are actually not in there. They're actually sent through these tubes, these little LED tubes here and it's basically just some clear plastic looks like this. There's a spare one there. So you get two of these and then it goes through these little holes and then that is the power switch there for the motor controller and also that is where you connect up the remote. So you sw slide that little power switch over to the right, turns on the robot and the lights turn on and then the little lights come through here and then they come out through the eyes. So that's pretty cool. The uh, power plug is over here. Yes, yeah, pretty hard to see. It's like right there and right over there. And you do have to use the included uh, USB charger. Kind of, kind of fish that through in there, like so, to charge it up. There's two motors on this here. There's one over here and one over here, and they control the basically the I forget what these what you would call these uh, belts. And it's kind of like tank controller here. So uh, I think. Uh, you can control it by one or the other, and it's like basically one one side controls one motor, and the other side controls the other motor. So you can just kind of spin it around with one, like so, and then do the same thing. So this this does not work on smooth surfaces very well. It, it will work better on carpet or some sort of uh, grippier surface. This is you can kind of see it's kind of sliding around. The other thing is the it kind of tips over pretty easily. Um, so if it's not, it's not a flat surface, you may find you're uh, retrieving the robot and putting it back upright so that, um, you know, sometimes it'll flip over. So just be aware of that. The remote does need two AA batteries. Just unscrew this here and then put them in. And you got a little on-off switch there. You can also control the robot via a smartphone app, but unfortunately, uh, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to get it to download. So there is a QR code here to their website and it's not in the Google Play Store. I don't have an Apple product, so I don't know if it's in the Apple Store or not. Um, but when I go there, and let me just show you what it looks like on their website. So I get this page and I go and try and download it and nothing happens. And I don't get an error message or anything, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not able to download it. I couldn't find the link to the file, so apparently I'm not going to be able to show you that. But what I'm, from what I understand, is the app um, basically allows you to control the robot via the phone, so you can kind of use like a steering wheel, like use the phone's gyro to like control it, and and kind of use some on-screen buttons to like maybe move it forward and backwards and kind of drive it around. There's also um, the ability to program the robot to do like a path so you can kind of like draw out a path on the screen like, you know, and then it'll follow that path um, after you hit run. That's what I've seen. Not, obviously it'll probably be more fun for the kids. I think my ISP is blocking that site for some reason, probably for security reasons. So I'm not able to download it, unfortunately, to test it, but it seems like that there's a few things you can do in the app to further control the robot. I think it's via Bluetooth, so I think the phone has to be fairly close to the robot. Um, but of course, you can still uh, drive it around, just no problem with the uh, included remote controller. Anyway, just kind of give you a closer look at everything here. These little arms do articulate, and the little grips close down, so you can probably put something in if you want, but they don't. these are not mechanical, and they do go kind of back and forth like a little bit. There's limited range of motion here, so this kind of goes up and down and back and forth. Same with the arm, you can kind of manipulate it like this and this way. Uh, the head does rotate a little bit side to side, uh, but the, 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 I guess the angle of rotation is limited by these LED tubes, so they're only gonna go so far. You, I guess you could pull these out and then uh, they'll, um, 
I guess they'll be able to move the head all the way around if you want, but it's actually better that the head doesn't rotate too easily. So you can kind of stick it like that and that's fine. And this is the only door that opens up, is here in the front. And you could stick stuff in there if you want, but then it'll probably pop, pop out of the bottom here. So there's a hole there for the uh, motor controller cables that go into the controller. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty nice looking model. There's some alternative models um, on there, but obviously I'll take the whole thing apart and then build those out. Uh, that's what they look like here. There's the mode B, C, and D. And the instructions in the manual are really, really good. Uh, I had no no issues figuring it out. Um, yeah, it just it just takes a lot of time because there's a lot. There's like 500 pieces or so. But yeah, pretty cool. I really like it. And uh, I think your kids are gonna like it too. Uh, for those of you guys that have been waiting around for the giveaway, there is gonna be, I have an extra one of these here. Brand new in the box, hasn't been used. Okay, so for those of you guys that wanna enter, you have to go to the entry form link, which will be a reply to my pinned comment down in the comment section. That's what I typically do. Um, go there, look at the rules on the entry form. You will have to pay for shipping, unfortunately. So this weighs a few pounds. It's pretty hefty. So it's going to be shipping from California in the United States. Um, you know, probably put in your uh, shipping calculator something like three pounds coming from the U.S. if you're international and see how much that's going to cost you. It's probably going to be 20 bucks or so, 20, 30 dollars maybe. Shipping's kind of expensive these, day, these days. And then I'm not sure how much it's going to be in the United States, but yeah. If you want to enter, uh, you don't have to pay for shipping, unfortunately. Uh, but the uh, manufacturer did send me this uh, to, send, to give this away. So if you're interested in picking it up, go ahead and click that entry form and enter. Anyway, overall, pretty awesome little robot here product here for your kids. And I'm sure I'm not sure if a lot of you guys remember the Wall-E uh, movie that came out in 2008, but uh, pretty nice little replica. It looks really s similar to the Lego version, but obviously at a, a much lower cost. And of course, the Lego version doesn't isn't even um, being manufactured anymore. I think that one was retired over a decade ago. So if you've been wanting to get a, a Wally -E Lego robot, I believe this is the only one available. So link will be down in the video description if you guys want to check out this product. I'll do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.